So hi, I'm going to give you a little information on neurofeedback right now. This is an EEG tracking device, so it will track your brain waves here on the screen, as well as setting the hertz, which is the frequency. Here we have a bear. He has a wire attached to him. The bear vibrates, so you hold the bear while you're doing the neurofeedback. You sit in a very comfortable chair, a nice calm setting, and very simply, you play a video game with your mind. That's what you do. We have a monitor right here. Okay, right now there's nothing on the screen, but I'll show you some of the demonstration programs in just a second. We attach some electrodes to your head. I will show you those now. These are the electrodes. There are exactly three of them on our neurofeedback device. One, two, three. The black one here is a ground, and the other two go on the particular points we'll be training, these two. All we do is take these, and we put some paste on them, and then we attach them to different points on your head that correspond to the type of training you need. In this case, or in the case of the USTA players, we're mostly going to be concentrating on peak performance type training, which can be various points in the skull depending on the particular needs of the athlete we're dealing with. That's it. You sit back. You don't have to do anything. You simply pay attention to the game, and when you are, your brain waves are, mo are moving or working in the correct manner, you're focused, relaxed, attentive, then whatever you're doing will function. For instance, we have a game called Dual Drive Extreme. In that game, you have a car and you're racing other cars. When your mind is in its correct state and the re reward frequency that I mentioned earlier is functioning correctly, the car will move. You don't steer it, although we do have the ability to steer the car, if you'd like to do that to be more engaged. But you don't need to. The, ma the machine itself will steer the car. All your mind is doing is making it so the car will go. It will go faster or slower depending on how your mind is doing with that. Now, there's nothing you can really do to change this other than paying attention. You can't read while you're doing this, although we do have the ability for you to actually watch a movie. When it's exercising well, the movie will be up on the screen and clear and you can see it. When it's not going well, it'll phase down, it'll go to black, almost, almost like when you take the brightness monitor on your television set and turn it up or down. It'll go way down, almost black or hazy if you're not doing things correctly with your mind basically. I mean, not exercising the mind in the right way for the reward and the protocols we've set. So these are just stimulus that tell you where your mind is going if you're doing the right thing. And then you will feel something. It's very important that you tell the practitioner, who will be sitting next to you the whole time, in this case me, how you're feeling on a regular basis. Every couple to five minutes. Three to five minutes, we usually check in, make sure you're not having headaches or other things. None of this will produce a long-term negative effect. If there are any negative effects, they go away in a brief time. The positive effects, though, eventually, your mind retrains itself to start self-regulating. What we're trying to do is get rid of dysregulation, or the mind not functioning. Maybe it's high anxiety when you're in a match, something like that. And we're trying to make it so that you can keep your anxiety level down and you can function in a calm, relaxed manner even when under a lot of pressure, yet maintain your intensity. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hook myself up now. I'm going to show you how that's done real quick. We have this goop right here so that it conducts so that the machine over here can read what your mind is putting off, the brain waves. So I'm going to take these electrodes and I'm going to scoop them into here and take some goop out. Take some goop out. I already did one of them actually before we started here. 
And then one more. I'm going to put some goop on this one. Okay, so they all got goop on them. You see, it's just a little goop. At the end, you just wipe it off with alcohol or water. Completely non... It won't harm clothing or anything else for that matter for all you tennis players out there who are very concerned about that. Now the next thing is I wipe off the areas with a little alcohol to get it working well. Okay, so I'm doing two points above my ears and then I have a ground up here. So I'm going to put the devices on using these. All of this stuff is just to make it more conductive. Again, none of it is harmful in any way. It's not going to hurt you at all. It's just a compound to make the skin um, more conductive so that we can get the brain waves out of your skull without having to, you know, put a hole in there or something like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting on some of this goop. It's going. Now I'm going to make sure I connect myself properly. You need, again, you want an experienced person doing this because you don't, you don't want these things connected in the wrong place. One of my classes that I took, I had a guy working with me who had, who didn't pay attention, and he put electrodes in the wrong place. You know, it's bound to happen occasionally, but it's not ideal. You'd rather not have that. So see, I stuck it on my head. It's right there. Okay, right there, stuck on my head. So that's one of them. And then we have a device over here that tells us how well, it's called an amp, a uh, neuroamp, it tells you how well the connect, how good the connection is on your head. I'm going to connect myself up here and then we're going to start the game. As you can see, this is the game. This is the spaceship game called Inner Tube. As you can see, it goes black when I'm kind of talking more. You can talk a little bit. You try to just kind of sit here and relax for the most part. It goes up and down depending on if you're doing well. You see the smoke coming out the back indicates I'm moving along nicely. My mind is pretty focused. And we're getting that self-regulation of the mind going so that you can achieve better results in your daily life peak performance. You see it went black there for a second. That's when I'm not really with it. My mind isn't relaxed and focused enough. Right now we're moving along okay. It's not great. Like the smokes, there's a little bit of smoke coming out, but I'm moving kind of slowly. And then it picks up. Okay, now I've just completed 30 minutes of training, which is about the average training session. I only did one placement. Sometimes you do more than one. You'll do 15 minutes on two different ones or 10 minutes on three, 10 minutes on each on three different placements. I did one placement for 30 minutes. Now I'm done. So see, I'm gonna pull it off right here. Boom, boom, and boom. Now all three electrodes are off. So thanks. And uh, good luck. Hope, hope you're interested in neurofeedback. Hope you follow this great science and keep up with it and use it possibly to make your life better.